everyone, good morning and happy new year. It's actually Saturday the 30th of December but this is going up on New Year's Day because it's Slimming World Saturday today and I wanted to get this up on New Year's Day to give you a little bit of New Year inspo if you are going back to Slimming World, getting back on the healthy eating and stuff like that. So this is my first weigh in after Christmas. I would mentioned in a previous video that I didn't eat as much as I normally would this Christmas because I had a little bit of a rough start to Christmas so I didn't have as big an appetite so I don't think it's going to be a huge gain but I think it will still be a gain so we're going to go there this morning face the scales see the kind of gain I've got and then um start today a fresh slate from today um and I'm going to have a little chat with you guys when I get in as to my plan of action for what I want for the new year what kind of weight losses I want and what I want to achieve so um I better get going because it is five to ten so we're going to go to Slimming World now and see what those scales say. Hey guys, so I'm at group now. I'm just about to go in, but I just wanted to show you that I have got an apple and a banana and I'm going to have a coffee as well when I get in there. That's going to be my breakfast. Let's go and see what these scales say. Hi you guys, so I am out of Slimming World. I put on a pound over Christmas, which I'm so happy with. Like that has never happened to me before in my life. I usually put on like half a stone at least. Um, and the reason behind that was because I did um, I um, just didn't really have an appetite this Christmas. So although I did eat, I had my Christmas dinner and I did have puddings and stuff. I just did not overindulge like I normally do. So it paid off for me in the end. Um, so I only put a pound on. I won the raffle as well. So I got um, the new Low Sin Snacks book for 2018. So I may do a video on this because you guys do like my Low Sin Snacks videos. And I also got the new Slim and Well magazine. Um, and this comes with 22 Fake Away Favourites book. So that's pretty good. I'm excited to read that. So yeah, um, I'm ready to get back on track from today. Um, my aim for 2018 is to just lose a pound a week. Um, because I feel like... When I put too much pressure on myself and I say, right, I need to lose two pound this week, three pound this week, I'll... Live at your dream car. He's pointing to a pink BMW. No, you can't, maybe you can't put crutches on there. Um, yeah, I, I feel like when I... When I say, oh, I'm going to lose two pound this week, three pound this week, because I have had a few gains these last few weeks, um, nothing big, like three, two, three, four pound I've put on in the last three weeks. I'll go hard for a few days and maybe not have all my sins and then I'll end up binging and then I it just it just doesn't work and I don't want to get back into that mindset of where I was when I was having food issues so I'm going to go into 2018 with a healthy mind and just focus on losing a pound a week I'm going to stick to plan have my 15 sins um, if I need them and exercise at the gym and just focus on losing a pound a week because if I do that then I will be at my target weight um, well in time for my sister's wedding in July. So um, that is the plan. So I'm aiming to lose a pound on Saturday. If I lose more, then that's like a, an added bonus. So we're going to go home now and do a food shop because we need to get food in for me because we've got no healthy food in. And then I'm going to make some lunch. So let's go and do that. Hello. So we're back home now, just done a quick shop because uh, it was quite busy and we couldn't be bothered so I've just got a few little bits um, which I will show you now. So start here, I've got some almond milk, some Dr Pepper, these are some hula hoop puffs and some rice crackers that are low sin, these are four sins, these are three and a half. Uh, I've got some vegan pulled pork burgers, some vegan corn chicken pieces, and some Linda McCartney sausages. Um, then I've got some mixed baked beans, chickpeas, sweet corn, sauerkraut, mushy peas, some hot sauce, um, some more coffee, some harissa paste, uh, sweetener, this is the sweetener I use, and um, some cloves. We've got some satsumas, bananas, some whole wheat pasta, sweet potatoes, uh, kale, green beans, these white Weight Watchers wraps which I love for my um, healthy extra B, S lots of salad, um, some peppers, baby's plum tomato, celery, cucumber, some onions, courgettes, 
uh, Brussels sprouts and aubergine and this is a leek and potato and this is a leek and potato soup mix so that is the overview of what I just bought um, so it's now half one I am gonna Rob's just trying to fit his ice cream into the freezer it's a jam pack that freezer isn't it Mm -hmm. um, so I'm going to just make some lunch. For lunch I'm going to make a Slim and Well pasty. Um, I'm going to fill it with some potato curry that was made earlier on this week. So I will, I have actually done a video on how to make the potato curry so I will link that potato curry recipe down below. And I have also showed you how to make Slim and Well pasties before so I will link that down below in case you're interested. So I'm going to make that now and then I'll show you what it looks like. So lunch is served. I've got um, baby cress, celery, tomatoes, cucumber, salt, pepper, some sauerkraut, and then I've dressed it with this Hellman's fat-free dressing. Hey you guys, so here is my pasty straight out the oven, and I'm going to cut into it now so you can see the potato curry inside. Here we go. Look at this. Oh my god, I cannot wait to eat this. So yeah, that is my lunch. Potato curry pasty with salad. Guys, so I'm gonna go and eat this in front of my TV and watch these senders, catch up on these senders. And then um, I'm gonna film a video, I think, because Rob's going to the gym, aren't you, Rob? Yeah. So while he's out, I'm gonna go and film a video that will go up tomorrow. That's the plan. Lunch was delicious. I'm now gonna make a coffee. And then I'm gonna to attempt to tackle all of this. This is all like the Christmas stuff. I've got, um, oh, there's just bags and bags and boxes of it. So I've gotta try and find homes for all those new things. But first I'm gonna do like a what I got for Christmas video. So I'm gonna make a coffee now, then go and film what I got for Christmas video with all that stuff and then try and find homes for everything. So, that is the plan while Rob is at the gym. So I've just been sat here looking through my new vegan cookbook. A couple of, I got a couple of vegan cookbooks for Christmas and I thought I'm gonna cook something for my tea tonight out of here. So I'll show you what I've picked. So I decided to cook one of these Buddha bowl parcels and just adapt it to Slimming World by removing any of the oil um, and just putting fry light there. And I don't have all the ingredients either, but I'm just gonna adapt it to what I've got in. Um, I've done a voiceover because I was covering the microphone at this part in the video. Even here, um, that are easy to adapt to Slimming World. So yeah, I really like this book. I am also, I've got a litre of water on the go that I'm trying to finish off before my tea. Um, this is another Christmas present. Uh, you guys know that I have the big blue 2.2 litre one. Sometimes it's such a pain in the arse to walk around with and carry everywhere. So I really like this one. This is a one litre one. So um, it's just so much easier to carry around. It's pink. Um, my mum bought it for me. It was from Home Bargains. So if you're interested. I'm really hungry and Rob's still not home. I don't want tea yet, but I want something to keep me going. So, what shall I have? I don't know what to have. This is annoying. I want to save my sins for tonight when we snuggle up with a film. Um, so I don't really want to have any sins now. So, I think I'm going to just have a couple of satsumas. That's what I bought these for, little quick snacks. So I'm gonna have a couple of these I think now and come on, come home Rob, I want tea. It's home. Woo woo. So I'm gonna start cooking now. Um, Rob's just gonna have leftover like party food that we've got in the freezer. Um, and I'm gonna have my brewery, my Buddha bowl. So, I'm gonna start cooking guys and I'll show you how I do it. So for my Buddha bowl, I have chopped up roughly one um, medium sweet potato, uh, a f uh, one clove of garlic, half a red pepper and just over a quarter of onion. 
Next, I'm just making a sauce by putting in one tablespoon of soy sauce, one tablespoon of white wine vinegar, and one tablespoon of Encona hot sauce. This is half a sin for three tablespoons, so I didn't count sins for this. Next, I'm just gonna make a little parcel out of foil. So you layer your veggies, sweet potato, peppers, onions, and garlic, and then drizzle over the sauce. Then you just wanna top that with as much kale as you want. And then I just wrapped it all up to form like a little foil parcel. Look at this bad boy. This goes in the oven at 200 degrees for one hour. And next just cook some basmati rice and this is a game changer. I added some cloves, some cardamom seeds, I peeled a freaking lemon and oh my god it changed the flavour of this rice. It went from plain to zangy and yeah you've just got to try this. So all I did here then is I just removed all of the uh, lemon peel and the cardamoms and stuff. They're here. Um, so I'm just going to dish this out into a bowl. So here is my delicious rice in the bowl and then I opened up my parcel and it looks something like this and I just topped all the veggies from here on top of the rice and voila, this is what it looked like. It looks so delicious. So I went a step further and cooked some crispy kale crisps and topped my dinner with that just for some extra crunch. It was so delicious and it is all free. I love this bit of bowl and I will defo, defo be making it again. I'm gonna go and eat this big bowl of nourishing vegan food it's super healthy super clean um, and it's going to be really filling for me because there's a whole potato in there and lots of rice and I'm really excited to eat it um, I feel like for me it's good for me to have big meals because it'll fill me up and it'll stop me snacking and picking so I'm going to go and enjoy this and then if I have anything else which I probably will I think I'm going to have a few sins please excuse my kitchen um, yeah, I think I'm gonna have a few sins, so I'll see you a bit later on when I decide to have some sins. Hi, hey, hey everyone. So I've just finished my Buddha bowl. It was really nice, but I'm so stuffed. I didn't finish it all. I've got like half the rice left. Um, so I ate all the veggies, all the potato, and just left half the rice because I was just so full. But um, I'm stuffed. Anyway, I just wanted to show you what I'm gonna have in about an hour or so. We're just watching a film once that's gone down. I have a pack of these peckish rice crackers, sea salt and vinegar flavor. And these are four, six, two, four, six, eight, yeah, four sins for the bag. Hey everyone, so I've just got into bed. I'm just getting into bed. Um, I'm gonna take my makeup off and stuff. And we've just been watching, after I had those, while I, was, while I had those rice crackers, we watched sex second to last Harry Potter and now what time is it it's quarter to ten and I'm getting in bed and I've got a mug of ginger tea which is really nice I'm gonna have this in bed and I've also got an orange Oso bar to have with that these are three and a half sins so I'm ending today on seven and a half sins healthy extra B was my uh, Weight Watchers wrap and my healthy extra A was my milk um, so a successful first day back on plan so uh, I want to just say before I go happy new year to you all um, once again let's all achieve our goals this year and get to our target weights and so yeah if you haven't been great today don't worry tomorrow's a new day get back on plan tomorrow and do not punish yourself for today you still deserve to eat even if you've overindulged today you still deserve to eat tomorrow do not get into that frame of mind um, where you punish yourself and don't eat and then binge it's just not worth it it's not healthy for your mind let's go into let's go into 2018 with a healthy, happy mindset and stay positive and we will achieve our goals. So happy new year everybody. I hope this video was enjoyable to you. If it was, give me a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and follow me on Instagram at Indigo Olivia. This lighting is crazy. I look like, I don't know what, I don't feel like I look like myself. I look like a goth. <laughs> um, so yeah, I will see you in my next video guys. Bye.